Hey everybody, what's going on? Jake here again. Today I have uh, the last upgrade to my PC for quite a while. This is the A-Data Premiere Pro SP920SS. It is a 2.5 inch SATA 6 gigabit per second solid state drive. Um, I got this on Amazon because I watched a Linus Tech Tips video uh, about this drive. It comes with a free software called Acronis um, True Image HD. It is a software for disk utilities. You can do backups with it. And the most important thing is you can clone your hard drive with it. So I'll go into a little bit more than that in just a few minutes once I get to this bottom little part of the box. On the outside of the box, first of all, we have a 128GB SSD. We have DRAM cache buffer, NCQ and Smart Command support. It's compatible with SATA 3 gigabit per second. It's optimized for AHCI mode, which of course is advanced host controller interface. You can find that all on uh, your in your BIOS. You can, of course, do it with RAID. Of course it is for AHCI, but vendor specific RAID, essentially. It is shock resistant, it has trim support for your operating system, and of course it has Acronis True Image HD. It's ultra slim, it's seven millimeters, it has a desktop pack, so it includes a three and a half millimeter um, bracket, so you can throw it in there if you, know, if you have a case that's obviously different. And of course, free download of Acronis True Image HD and a three year warranty. Flipping over to the back, we have Everything in English right up here, talking about what it is, built-in ECC, where, where, blah, 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 technology, compatible with SATA, etc. Has it in pretty much every single language. And of course, over here, we have the max performance. So, the bigger you get, essentially, the better performance you have. But in this case, that's not what I was looking for. I was just looking for something to boot Windows 7 in a very, very fast time. And the read speeds do not actually do much. It does say that performance varies on the benchmark used, the drivers, the Windows version, the BIOS, and the SSD capacity. So of course I have the 128 gig. So I'm going to be getting read speeds of 560 megabytes per second with write speeds of 180 megabytes per second. As If I were to go to a terabyte, I would get 560 read and 500 write. I'm not necessarily looking for that write speed because it doesn't matter that much to me. The read speed is going to be most important because I would definitely like to boot Windows um, very, very quickly and essentially get that a little bit more on that uh, Windows Experience Index so I don't have to deal with a 5.9 overall subscore because I think it's really stupid like that. So um, that's pretty much it for the outside of the box and I'll go ahead and open this baby up here. It just came this morning. Um, FedEx has very early morning delivery, which I love, instead of having to wait until 3 or 4 in the afternoon for UPS. For whatever reason, I got, got it shipped by FedEx instead of UPS. Not exactly sure, but it's probably because it was just a, a paper package instead of a box. Opening up the box here, we have something that dropped on the floor, which is the warranty overview. In the rest of the pack, we'll set that aside. We have a quick start guide for the SSD. Oh, good dog. It's multiple pages. Very cool. Installation guide, etc. That's all pretty self explanatory. What else do we have here? It looks like we just have the SSD. So we'll go ahead and pop this baby out. It's very, very light. 128 gigs. It's got a plastic uh, outer shell casing. It's got the warranty code, it's got the Acronis uh, ATI HD key, which I will cover up with my finger. And all the nomenclature, SATA and power connectors on the bottom. Very, very standard, 128 gig, very light, very slim. And this baby will fit uh, in my computer without a problem. And of course, the last parts we have are the mounting screws, as well as the blue two and a half inch to three and a quarter inch adapter and of course as well as that we do have a um, 3M sticky tape essentially a back plate for it so it'll go like that 
So for the most part, I think this will be a very nice SSD. Um, I'm definitely in the know about how it performs. So for that right speed, I don't matter. It doesn't matter to me that much. Read speeds are all I want, so I can put a few games on here. Um, I believe you can use the Acronis software and do it all, uh, all completely manually. You can do it automatically. Of course, I'm going to be cloning my 500 gig drive to a 128 gig, so I'm obviously going to be doing it only for the operating system. So essentially, just local disk C and then Windows, and then copy all, copying all of those files and my user and uh, hopefully we'll get a you know 10 second boot up time and maybe at the end of this video I will certainly add in another little section um, probably showing the boot up and once it's all installed but right now I'm actually gonna take my computer apart I'm gonna mess around with the cable management a, m a lot more and uh, that's pretty much it so thank you guys so much for watching this was an unboxing of the a data Premiere Pro SB920 SS 128 gig SSD. I will see you guys next time, so please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a good thumbs up. Always shows your support. Ask me any questions if you'd like. I'm always answering questions on pretty much on a daily basis for subscribers. So thank you guys again, and I will see you in the next video, which should be in about a week or so with the gaming setup and room tour of July of 2014. But if I see you until then, I will seriously just say I'll see you next time. Hey guys, what's going on? Here's a quick video uh, on the uh, reboot of Windows 7 on the SSD that's all installed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven second boot up. And I have some updates to install. But uh, it's it's very, very fast. Um, so you it in the computer. There it is. Here are the two drives. Uh, I didn't actually have to reinstall games or anything. They actually stayed on the drives. Uh, and I just reconfigured the directories for the install and the download. So uh, I can still play all my games. There are a few that I think I still need to get up and running again. But uh, bottom line is Windows 7 is running beautifully. And I might be putting some projects on the SSD as well. I think I have about 60 gigs on it. Uh, free space still. So thank you guys so much for watching my unboxing of the A-Data SB920 128GB SSD, and I will see you guys next time.